Hey everybody, Zulu is back. Nordic Ashes, we have an update and I have unlocked the new character Chaos. And I have to say, he's very interesting. You will see it when I get to it. But first of all, let's see what we have for that. We have for the dash, he has different status effects. But first of all, we go with the standard one. Down there, we have a reroll mastery when you level up. You will see that you will have the band mastery. We do not care about that. You will see it later on when I already have it. But we did uh, the Ragnarok 5 for Conqueror's Realm uh, for Midgar. But now we are doing it for Alfheim. We have no relic exchanger because I don't care about it right now. And we start the game. And what you will see is the following. We have three choices. First, when I played it, I was, what the hell is going on? But we have the choices from all the weapons, all the passives, and all the stat upgrades. What should we use? Should we go with the shadow crossbow? No, let's go with the bow. It is a good starter. And as you can see, we shoot a little bit. We have 10 levels. But we cannot spend it. That is the trick of that character. And I have to say, I love it. Also, I think it's bugged. I will show it later to you. Uh, we can re-roll it if we want to, but that looks good for the beginning. We have to get a little bit more levels in there. Every time we get the level up, we level up. And that is the reason why that character was... I was the first one before all the other games and so on. Maybe that was how this, this game was intended in the beginning. Maybe. And they changed it that it's not so similar to other games. But I have to say, I very much enjoy it. I've, it is quite cool to have the old school level up. It's two full red hearts. We have a red red heart, green hearts and so on and so forth. I started the other run with only four blue hearts. Hmm, very interesting. Then let's go for that passive and try to get out. Oh, I forgot we have a dash. Every 40 seconds you get an extra ice heart. This ability will be active as long as you have less than four ice hearts. That means we can have four ice hearts. That is very good. I have not looked at the curses we got and I should have re-rolled. Sorry, but also not so sorry. Good thing is we had the green heart. The iron hammer hit the ground and launched an energy wave. That should be from Alex. Then let's use it. I use it for the last run on this channel. So. Oh, a golden upgrade. The nice thing is you can have better upgrades for more weapons at the same time. Let's get as high as possible. Also, when we go to the shop, you will see what I mean that it's crazy around here. Mm, should we reroll? No, I take it. Also, when you pick up the leveling up crystal, Nothing will happen until we have the next level up and we have 10 levels. No, we do not even need 10 levels. We can choose from an upgrade like that one. But I don't want it. I want the bow. Should Yeah, let's go with the ivy. LD and RD. Oh, we can scroll down with LD and RD. Ivy, Ivy is very great. We can collect all the experience without getting close to it. I know it's a little bit uh, over the top because I pick up strange things and combine them. Very strangefully. Elemental affinity, that one is not good. I do not care about it. I cannot reroll it. Shockwave, no. Then let's go for the cooldown. Shoots one giant powerful shot. Yes. Ivy. The Ivy is more important. Now it would be nice if we get some passives for... Come on, why are there... 
Our nice little ivy is very small, I have to say. Like a little bit more experience. Ah, cooldown. Yeah, a golden cooldown is always something nice. When they have or less of their total health. That one is a good execute. That one is a good bow. Heal one red heart. That is also very nice. I will take it. And I will take <laughs> We are immortal, I have to say. Hmm, let's go with the ivy. Now we should get enough green hearts. Oh, they, they changed. Wait a little bit. I have to look at it. Projectiles. No, I want damage. <coughs> damage area. I don't care about the area. Projectiles and damage would be nice. No. 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 Ah, uh, yeah, good enough. What I wanted to say is the alley looks like a flower now. It did not look like that before we had the release. They should have upgraded it. And we get our next red heart. Come on, guys. Don't play around with me. Get me out of there. reason why they exploded was because I had an ice heart. A magnet would be great. Duration. Let's go up with the duration. That's a good one. More damage, more summons. Uh, damage and area. Both are very good. And we are still full and have a green heart and a blue heart and an ice heart. We are so hardy, I have to say. <laughs> oh yes, that will be a good run. Come on, kill that thing. If I upgrade the hammer, should we go for the cards? No, forget it. Let's get as high as possible with all the starter weapons. Free starter weapons. I never leveled up free weapons so fast as with that character experience no i want a reroll bouncing should be bounce no summons would be nice experience plus is also something i have to take the inferno codex because he is one of the best uh, weapons if they did not change it The only thing I am missing is that we can re-roll the selection and not the selected item. But we get enough levels, I have to say. And yeah, we should collect some more shrines before the boss comes. We're in a good position right now. And I very much love the character. Because it's my playstyle. The Elder Wand is nice, but... No, thank you. I have to say, uh, Ragnarok 5 is not so difficult and it's a good way to farm a little bit experience to unlock the passives for the character. And we resetted it. If a new player sees that and asks how did he do that, it's in the Yggdrasil tree. So your meta progression. And I have to say, you are very lucky because with the new character you can do all the levels and get extra leaves. Which I have to do because I don't want to farm the seeds. Mm, something better. More area. Yes. Make them bigger. The bigger the better. A good one. But since when do we only have four stats? Do we not have more stats? I think we have more stats with the other characters. That's the bonus. This time with that character you have to build around it. You have to know what items are there, what do they and so on and so forth. I have to say we have uh, good coverage. We have also 
good single target damage. And we only have 30 uh, gold right now. That's not so good. Uh, summon ravens, not my cup of tea. Damage projectile speed. Uh, we have to re-roll them. Hmm. Area, damage and projectiles. Yep, that is good enough for me. What did I collect that I get so many? I do not play around with the hammer, what to do, because I want to get an ascension crystal and ascend my fire. You will see why I want to do that. Come on. Get in there, wait a little bit. That's also a very good weapon. The mandrakes are also very nice. Should we go with the mandrakes? Scarce enemy, yeah, why not? We have to go for some. We could do a crazy summon build. If I really want to do it. Come on, kill him. 62 gold, we need a little bit more. I want to go at least with 100 or something into the shop. area more projectiles let's see if we can get something new upgrade the damage nope can go with re-rolls another re-roll yes it's the first one but hey who cares let's finish the hammer then should we go with the light sword yeah and now we can have an ultimate and I use the Gunborg. That is from what was her name? The Summoner. And we have so many levels. Attack speed and we have three upgrades for the ultimate already. We are still in the second wave. That is sick. I have to say it. It's sick. Uh, three upgrades remaining. Okay. If you think about it, we are so good. I will do a run in Ragnarok 10 with him, if I have to say it. Come on, fight for me, Gunburg. The more we summon it, the more we get of them. At the end, we can have three of them. And I do not use or have to use it to uh, let him be active the whole time. The mandrakes are also very crazy if they overlap. They are projectiles. I have seen projectiles from them. Or is how often they attack. Attack speed for the mandrakes. Very good. Resummons for him. And when we have our boss and go into the shop, you will see the next crazy thing about that character. Only damage counts. Damage, damage, damage. I love that system. Come on, give me... Yeah, thank you. You can do crazy builds with Chaos. He has no skins or something like that, but hey, for that what he does, I very much enjoy him. You see how many Mantrix we throw out? And we collect 60% of all the experience in the level when we go into the shop. That is also very good. First of all, I want to go to the mine and collect it before we go on. Should we go with crit? Yeah, let's go with crit. Come on, Gunburg, kill him. Where is he? On the right side. Ooh. Run into it. Pull down, crit or experience. Let's go with crit. And he should burn very much. Run a little bit from him. Yes. Ah, uh, they did not... Should we take crit? Movement speed. Movement speed. Can we have not higher stats? Ah, who cares. Ah, uh, attack damage crit. Projectile speed. What is also good? Cool down. 
Oh, and he can also destroy that thing. Let's wait a little bit. Collect all the gold. And what is that projectile? Let's take it. We take that one. Oh, we have the reset. Why do I already have it? The last time it was also in the second reroll of the shop. I will take it. It grants 50% cooldown. Oh, that is so nice. Because now when we level up and I want to go for my main weapon, where are they? With the Inferno Codex, we can level up the Inferno Codex multiple times. That is the reason I can now reroll the shop get a lot of weapons and you may think I only have 14 gold but look at that I have 72 points of experience points that is not possible with the other characters I don't know if that is a bug or a feature but we do not use them when we choose um, what how do you call it when we choose one of the free cards when he level up that means we get a lot of gold. We get two gold for everything. And now we have 230, which is nuts. I can buy everything and I go in the shop three times. And let me tell you, you will get a lot of levels. Nope. Uh, projectors. Then let's go for reroll. Uh, we go with the fire ones damage while you only have one red heart. I don't need that one uh, I could go now for other weapons, but I don't want that I could go I had 20 different weapons, but overall we go with stats and increases Let's go with damage A big one we could go for the wooden crossbow. That one receives help. Uh, yeah. Less damage is also nice. And still we have 30 gold left. 130 more projectiles. More cooldown. And what stat do we get? Cooldown. I will take it. I take you. Uh, when you slaying Elem. Yeah. Heal red hearts. Maybe I will go with another weapon. Build la like in my last run with him. But this time around I won't do it. I will try to get as many upgrades as possible. Should we go with cooldown or should we wait for crit experience? No, 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 no. Yeah, let's go with projectile speed. That's a good one. Movement speed, we are still too slow. Oh, two red hearts, I see it right now. That was not good. Yeah, I want to... Oh, we can take it. Good, we heal a red heart. Then you will see what's going on now. <laughs> we have now the circle of doom for the fire. And hopefully we get a level up very fast. I have to get as much experience as possible. Also our firing rate for the bow is very high. Then guys, I hope we will see each other when we go to the boss. It's not so, uh, how do you say it, exciting for you to see how I slay the enemies and collect the uh, experience. So, then until in some minutes. Fear damage. No, 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 no. We want something else. Yeah guys, we are back and we have a problem. As you can see, I get level after level after level, but I do not get any upgrades anymore. I think we run into a bug. This time around, we have two bugs. The first bug is, do we keep our levels after leveling up? The second bug is, where are my level up choosers? Do I get them when I go into 
the nice little shit get away from me come on please give me level ups yeah we are back hallelujah I don't want to have that one nope we level you we level you where is the up oh, increases the damage that's the first one volcano orbs I want another one but hey it's good enough then we can level it up a second time let's go with it I think we get all the levels right now that should be quite good And we can use it to get the perfect rolls. Nope, not that one. That one. Damage. And now we get gold and hearts. Grand random. F what the hell? Full heart. Let's get gold. Seeds. Seeds. Um, what's going on? That is the first time that I had that one. 21. 18. 13. 12. Every time we get a level up. Okay. Maybe we run into a bigger bug that I, than I thought about it. Hey, let's go with the fire. The fire wand. What do we have here? Movement speed increase. Yes. Take that one. Take that one. And more projectiles. Creates an area around you. Nope, that's not very important for me. With 500 seeds, that's quite good. Uh, have no money left, then you know what we will do. We get all our money back with our levels. The only problem is we cannot reroll anything. Should we go with the orb? Yes, let's go. And take that one. Shoot in straight line. No, as long as you have maximum red hearts, you get powerful random stat. That's a good one. And an epic chest. Or crits, baby. 100% nearly. Fire gets to poison. That makes our things even better. We have to get a little bit faster with the money or we... You will see for half an hour how I reroll stats and look at them. But I have to say I love that character. You can do crazy builds with him. And you will see crazy builds also from other content creators. Right now I want good thing. Ah, increase the experience gained. And what is that? We have not enough gold for... Can you go away, my little friend? Oh, empty red heart. No, we don't need them. And what is that? I should use the bonus from the other characters. Yes, that is where I wanted to be. <laughs> oh my goodness. They all burn like crazy. Let's get the chest over there. I want my main weapon. Yeah, let's go with that one. Good. We have to test it. Ah, uh, no. Let's go with the dragon staff. 20 gold for greed. That is something we need. Also, we do not get any level up. Oh, I see why we... Oh. I know what the, the problem is. I have not enough weapons. Because you only get it when you have a weapon you can level up. Ah, now I know what is different from my first run. Oh, 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 oh. I did not think about that. Now we get all the levels and when we go into the shop, all of them will be re uh, given to us. Oh. Ah, uh, that is not the best enemy for me. Come on. Burn. Come, burn damage, more burn damage, and he should go down. Yes. 
The only thing is to kill him very fast. He's one of the shittiest bosses in the game. That goes for all the bosses in the last three levels. They are all the same. Shitty and shitty and shitty. But if you know how to handle them, you get a far away. Who froze me? Who was it? Was it you? Yes, it was you. Give me your staff. The staff of doom. Nope. Frozen again. I hate those ice bastards. This time around we get a lot of chests. Come on, the last one. Oh. Crit? Yeah, let's go with crit. Global crit. Every time when you see it not on the weapon, it is a global crit. And it looks like I have only one ring of fire around me, but those are all small projectiles. They are only too fast to see. And leave the flowers a little bit longer. Projectiles. And I see a chest over there. I should not forget that we also have the dragon egg in that level to get on the left side. My magnet is still here. Also a good tip, get always yourself a magnet. Oh, we have two ascension crystals now. How high is my damage? No, not 80. 367% more. That's a lot. Cooldown, because you can have never not enough cooldown. And you can never have not enough gold. It's a little bit shitty that you have not the upgrades during the level. But hey, after that is also good. Do more damage and now we are 460 and get the boots the grand additional what if you want to see what you have gotten so far go in there i think it's the x button go down come on ah the grand additional dash cool we have three dashes first time of all the cooldown is very slow for the dashes I don't know if you can increase it, but it would be very nice if we could have them a lot more often. Two dashes are enough, but they should come a little bit faster online. Again. Good. Do we have still something to collect? I don't think so. And that is how Chaos... Oh, what is his name? I forgot. Kratos? 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 So, uh, something like that. Is played. He uh, plays a uh, more roguelike, uh, roguelite, bullet heaven style. You can choose from all the weapons, you get your weapons, and if you have no weapon to upgrade, you will get seeds. What we will see when we go to the shop again. Mm, damage. Nearly 1000 damage with our main attack. More speed. And something for the staff. Because eh, we have already won. Or projectile, speed, or area. The area does do nothing, I think. Does it make the ring a bit, little bit bigger? Maybe. I'm not too sure about it. And when we are at the end, use the magnet. The grove. No, we had weapons. I don't know how I went into that situation that I could not upgrade them. That is what I wanted to have the whole time. Uh, I want to keep one ascension because one ascension gives us 100% more damage. 
damage cooldown. Oh, now we begin from new. Can I only have... Is it because I did not use the ascension crystal so fast? That could be. That is also a possibility. Another one, and another one, another one. And give me more damage. 1000 damage. 1000 damage. Yes. After that, we should get... We only have one choice per free card for an ascension. That is also something interesting. Nope. Jackstyle's area. And now the... Oh, come on. I only have... I must use the Ascension Crystal. What the hell. And now we can upgrade IV again. Summons, more area, more summons. For that one, damage summons and area are very important. But ah, right now I don't care. Get the seeds, get the seeds. The bands and re-rolls. How do I get... Oh, maybe I have to unlock it for him. Hey, hey, give me more seeds. What the hell? I nearly have 1000 seeds in this run. Ah, then let's go with gold. Okay, that went a little bit too far for my tastes. Or it took a little bit too long also. I have too much gold. I think I will speed that whole thing up. And that was it, my friends. As you can see, we have a damage of 178. Oh, because I lost... I could have gone with greed and all the things. Yeah, who cares? We got a lot of projectiles and we have... Oh, Astrid of the Woodlands. I have not seen her for a long time. Don't touch... Oh my goodness. Oh shit. What the hell? <laughs> the ring is too big. Also, I should have two rings. Why, Why do we not have... Where is the second ring? The inner ring. And she's dead. That was too much damage and they were too fast. The projectile speed was too high. <laughs> we got two levels for it. <laughs> Shit! Oh, come on! Shit! Ah, I have no nie so ein Scheiß gemacht. Ah, I did not do such a shit. <laughs> Sorry for the German. Oh, that was a good run. That was a good run. Then let's see, what does he have? The second. When you level up, you can re-roll the level cards. You will start the game with three re-rolls. When you level up, you can ban level cards. Okay, that is something good. I want the dash and the re-rolls. After that, increase the limit of stats in the constellation by five. Oh. Increase the limit of passive relics in the... S limits of the stats. You get one at, oh, four cards. I have to level him up very fast. Oh my goodness. Increase the limit of active relics in the constellation by one. Mm hmm. Get the ultimate ability 10 levels earlier. Oh, you get that for level 30 or something like that. That's the possibility of obtaining non-ancestral relics in the leveling cards. This will be rare or higher. On ancest ancestral. Oh, it means they do not belong to the other characters. Mm. All the relics are for the characters. I did not know that. I think we have to upgrade it to level 10 all the way. Then, guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully, you liked it. And play with Chaos. Uh, Chaos? Yeah, Chaos. Uh, I call him Kratos, it's cooler. And he's very easy to unlock. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. When you are in game with a character, then you have him. Ah, it's so nice to play it. Then, see ya, uh, see ya.
Bye.